How's it going everybody? I wanted to give you guys a little rundown on this new tool in DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta. We've got some new tools that uh, came along with this update. And if you click on your track, we're in the Fairlight page. Under Audio, much like your normal inspector parameters are, you get your voice isolation, your dialogue leveler, all that stuff. But if you click here on what would be the entirety of track 2, so if you add a bunch of other tracks further down the timeline, it's going to affect everything on this track. But you get this new drop down menu here, and one of the new tools is the Music Remixer. So let's go ahead and play this and hear what it sounds like without any of uh, those tools on. I'll turn the Music Remixer on. It's kind of processor intensive, but uh, uses AI. It works pretty well. You can use these sliders here, or you can use these check marks. And then if you want the tactile, you can pop it open with this three dot menu. And this is where you can save presets and things like that. Um, same as you do with all the other uh, sort of plug-in parameters uh, that I have some other videos on those but you can just dial them in like that or hit mute if you prefer to use it that way. So here I've uh, taken the drums out. So let me play that section again with the uh, drums reduced. Now we've taken the guitar out. All right, so since it is processor intensive, you could kind of dial in your parameters. I've tried it with some commercial tracks and it works pretty well, especially if you're a practicing musician, you wanted to play along with the band and like lower the guitar or even the voice for that matter. Uh, you can make a you know karaoke or a guitar free version or even drums and uh, play along to that and it's almost like jamming with the real band but if it's bogging down your resources you can go ahead and you know select your track which hit x and when you're in the fairlight page under timeline you've got these two options of bounce selected tracks to a new layer or bounce mix to a new track. So a new layer will go right inside the same audio two track and make another clip appear here. And you can always go back to the original, but if you want to make a brand new track, just remember whatever's happening all the way down to your mix bus here is going to be going on, uh, on the output of your track there. So I went ahead and bounced this down earlier. So you didn't have to, wait for it to finish rendering but let's go ahead as you can see on here we have the music remixer enabled I'm going to take it off we'll mute this track and solo this bounce track down here now <laughs> And now we have the drumless version with the music remixer off so it's not bogging down your resources. So you could make uh, whatever version you want. Uh, I don't know if I could see a lot of uh, scenarios where you'd want to use that for the entire track. Uh, it would almost be like a clip by clip basis depending on what you're using if you wanted to remove uh, vocals for copyright or something like that. Uh, whatever it might be, but individual uses will vary. But that's a good way you can do it without having to bog down a, uh, the computer with this music remixer resource. But it does work quite well. And that's about it. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.